I'm excited and honored to give my bridesmaids and my maitre de um their gift. I'm so happy that you found him and found a good role model and a father figure for my nieces so they can look up to somebody and not have to experience some of the things that you went through. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I see y'all have to be careful out here on these streets when choosing who you're gonna date nowadays. Some of these men, and if we're being honest, some of these women too, are out here trying to take full advantage of everything you have, especially if you're financially stable. In today's video, we'll be talking about a woman who thought she was marrying the man of her dreams, which was a doctor, but turned out to be a master scammer. And I mean, this man's setup was perfect. Y'all make sure you stick around to the end so I can help y'all out on a few things you need to look for to make sure you aren't caught up in any of this type of mess. What's up, family? I am the Mysterious Black Bandit. If you came over here from the Sesso Squad, welcome to my channel, and I appreciate all you scooped up heads for coming over. I'm just kidding, but thank y'all so much for coming over. I am truly grateful. Now, before we get started, Go ahead and do your boy a favor and hit that like, subscribe, and make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of these good videos when I upload. Once you've done that, let's get into this thing. Teresa Jackson was a thriving 44-year-old single mother who was raising two teenage daughters on her own. She worked her behind off and climbed a corporate ladder all the way up to a regional director for a Fortune 500 healthcare company. As a successful businesswoman, she had just about everything she wanted. She owned a very nice home in Florida, had two luxury cars, and was also a published author. But the one thing she was missing was a man. Now, being a director, on top of juggling two teenage daughters, she didn't have much time to really get out and meet new people. And then the men that she did come across just wasn't what she was looking for. Now, in 2014, all that would change when she got a new friend request on Facebook from a man named Dorian Jackson. Dorian wasn't a complete stranger. In fact, Teresa and him used to be old high school sweethearts until they parted ways after graduating. Now, after she checked out his profile pictures, all of her fondest memories came flooding back as this good looking and great athlete who played football and ran track. They talked on and off through Facebook for several days, and this is where she learned that Dorian was successful as well. Not only was he a doctor at the Emory Hospital, but he was also an epidemiologist for a Center for Disease Control. Already intrigued by his dark complexion and tall statue, it didn't take long for her to realize she was going to be with this man, but the only thing that came between them was the distance. At that time, Dorian was living in Atlanta and she was in Florida, but I guess when you feel like this person is the one, nothing's going to stop you from being with that person. Now, Shariza's company had planned a business trip for her to go to Florida, so while she was there, she decided to link up with Dorian just to see what he was truly about, and he didn't fail to impress. This man pulled up to her hotel in a freaking Bentley wearing his medical scrub. Then, he was a true gentleman. He got out and opened the door for her and then took her around to see the city before they had their dinner date. Now, before they went on this date, Dorian needed to change out his scrub, so he took her back to his apartment and when she saw where he lived, she couldn't believe her eyes. He lived in a beautiful loft with a stunning overview of a park. From the time Dorian picked her up, she was very intrigued, but after talking to him over dinner, she grew head over heels for this man. First off, Dorian reminded her of her military father. Then they seemed to share many of the same qualities. On top of that, he attended all these prestigious universities and he would lecture around the country on vaccine and infectious diseases. To Shariza, this was like the start of a fairy tale. With all those memories she had about him from high school, in addition to everything he did that night, she knew she had to marry this man right away. During their few years of courtship, he whined and dined Teresa. He showered her with gifts and lavish trips. Then he was loving and put her on this pedestal that made her feel like she was the only thing that mattered to him in the world. By November 27, 2016, Dorian made the decision to make Teresa his wife. They had an all-exclusive wedding in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in front of 200 friends and family members. From the start, Dorian was so good to her 
Even her two adult daughters, who are also attached to him, changed their last name to Wilkinson to match their stepfathers. Now, just one year into their marriage, Dorian came up with the idea to open up his own cosmetic center in Broward County, Florida, where they would offer breast augmentations, tummy tucks, and Brazilian butt lifts. He explained to her that he would be able to bring the doctors in to do the procedures and run the day-to-day -day operations, but he just needed her to put up the money to open the doors. Trusting her husband knew what he was doing, in addition to him being a doctor, without a doubt in her mind, she emptied her savings and 401k to help this man get this business off the ground. As time went on, Charissa, who was already busy working her day job, wasn't too invested in the business and felt that Dorian was handling everything, especially by the way he was always busy. But one day, she decided to look in the company's books. This is when she found out that despite having many clients, their business was losing money. Now, Charissa had already invested close to $400,000 into this company, so she couldn't afford to let this thing sink. So to help their investments out and keep the business afloat, she leaves her corporate job to devote herself entirely to their cosmetic center. This caused some friction in their relationship because where was this money going if it wasn't going into the business? But every time she would ask or question him, Dorian had an answer for everything. Now, as their relationship started to crash, Sharika decided she was going to look a little deeper into her husband's background. And man, oh man, when she did, she found out he was a master manipulator. First off, she heard several stories about him stealing money from other people. Then multiple women who he had dated in the past reached out to her stating he deceived them as well and warned her about him being dangerous and not to believe anything he said. One woman who was friends with Dorian's ex-wife came forward and said he had known him for 16 years and stated he has always been a liar and con artist. So after all these women came forward, Charissa began to dig a little further into her husband's criminal history and was absolutely appalled to discover everything he had been convicted of. In 2001 and 2002, felony charges was filed against him for theft and extortion of more than $75,000 in Atlantic City, New Jersey, in which he pled guilty and was placed on probation as a convicted felon. Then in February of 2007, he was booked on a domestic battery and assault charge. Then in February of 2009, he was arrested again for a simple battery and was locked up in the Fulton County Sheriff's Department, but was released from prison on a $10,000 bail. Even while they were married in 2017, he was charged with careless driving and allegedly she found out that the Florida Department of Health sent him a cease and desist letter and he was being fined for pretending to be a medical doctor. Now to make things even worse, one day while Dorian was busy doing something, he left his phone out so you already know what she did. She grabbed that sucker and went through those text messages and saw everything she needed. Allegedly, in a text message to one of his homeboys, he tells him he no longer needs Charissa in his life because she was broke now. This was the last straw for her. She goes and confronts him saying, I can't believe you would do me like this and you got me around here supporting you using all my money and you aren't even a real doctor. Now Dorian, who was caught off guard by all this, started playing a victim like he always did and began blaming everyone else besides himself for what he did. Then as things heated up, this fool went and found a bogus police report against her, basically saying she took all the money and tried to get her arrested. By December of 2022, their cosmetic business was completely shut down. And in March, Charissa filed for divorce before filing a civil lawsuit against her ex-husband. She shared an audio recording of her speaking to a former employee who informed her that Dorian was forging her signature and in the name of two other doctors from their cosmetic center. She also learned that he was using her credit to receive hundreds of thousands of dollars in loans and for his personal gain. Now, after Charissa received a few threats from Dorian, she tried to file a restraining order against him because she was concerned with her and her two daughters' safety, but was told she needed to handle that in a divorce proceedings. Now, if you go and check out their Cosmetic Center's website called Best You Now, Dorian was referred to as a doctor body, a rejuvenation specialist, and a cosmetic analyst, but online, Records do not show him holding a medical license in the state of Florida or Georgia, contrary to what his LinkedIn profile showed. 
In addition to this, a Center for Disease Control and Prevention official stated they have no records of Dorian Wilkerson in any of their current CDC employee directories. Allegedly, this man had a pattern of defrauding women and leaving them high in debt once he feels he can no longer benefit from them anymore. Then, when people find out about him, he tries to silence them and goes after their livelihood and freedom. Teresa stated that nothing ever happens to him and he continues to swindle women, business owners, and scares them so they don't come after him. In her court document, she stated she became his wife unaware of his previous convictions for fraud and also she believed he committed adultery throughout their entire marriage, especially after several accusations of sexual harassment had been made against him by a third party. Allegedly, Shariza Jackson was conned out of $1.4 million and as of today, she is trying to rebuild her life and is relying on her faith and the strength of her family and has also published a book called Successful Women Get Played To. Now, as for Dorian, they believe he is currently living with another woman in another state. This man had to be a master at con artistry, if that is a word, but my thing is, how in the heck do you marry a man and for all those years, did you not ever go to the hospital he claimed he worked at to give him lunch or just to see him? Well, I, I don't know, but maybe you were just too busy. But anyway, listen up. Let me give y'all a few of these uh, red flags that uh, help you figure out if someone's trying to scam you. Number one, quick declaration of love. If you have only talked to someone for a short period of time and they start professing their love for you, I don't care how good the person is or if they've done something that was really good, that person doesn't love you. Red flag. Number two, financial request. A person asking for money the first or second time after seeing you or even a week after seeing you. Red flag. Third, and this should be self-explanatory, but that person avoids face-to-face -face meetings major red flag. And last but not least, they are very hesitant about sharing information. If you ask them for personal details, family or background information, and they are evasive, this is definitely a sign of dishonesty and another red flag. Now, I know some people can be this way from the start of the relationship, but after you have known them for a while, you should definitely be having that information. All right, y'all. Please make sure you're being careful and doing your due diligence when you're out here in these streets. That will be it for this video. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and leave your boy comment. Y'all make sure you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time, stay mysterious, my friend.